Why paying 80 euros for just this cable? We're gonna find out. What up guys, my name is Jeffrey from Insert Audio and as you could see in my last video I showed my whole setup and we're using Turnable 3 on everything right now. So we built everything around Turnable 3, but why? In this video we're gonna dive into that. So Turnable 3 is USB, but not just USB. It started all with the normal USB connection that evolved with a few versions until USB 3.2 with different generations. The difference? Faster connections, so faster data transfer as well. We all know Firewire, but that's nothing compared really to Thunderbolt 3 and the speeds we're at right now. You have to see it like this. You have different types of connections like USB-A and USB Micro-A and you have the different protocols that stand for how which screens, which power and how fast it is. So the connectors are really the physical connector that are on the cable and the protocol is the data or speed and which transfer it can do. One problem with USB-A was that you have to put it one way in. You couldn't put it like the both ways like you can with USB-C. So Thunderbolt 3 goes via USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 is a protocol that can handle a few things. For example, two 4K displays, 40 gigs per second, 100 watt charging and more multiple USB, normal USB connections over one cable. So, and all that different data goes via a single cable. Also in my studio, I plug one single cable in and just the whole studio connects. Can everyone just use Thunderbolt 3? No, the whole loop should support Thunderbolt 3 to be able to use all the advantages. So for example, your dock, laptop, cable and audio interface should support Thunderbolt 3 to work on this connection. If your computer does not support Thunderbolt 3, no chance, sadly. The newer MacBooks and iMacs have Thunderbolt 3. That's why Universal Audio, one of the leaders in high quality audio interfaces, have Thunderbolt 3 on all their latest audio interfaces. So why is Thunderbolt 3 an advantage for an audio interface? First of all, you get lower latency, you can stack up multiple units and you can expand that. And you can connect your whole studio via a single cable. These are the main benefits from going for our Thunderbolt 3 audio interface. And do you really need this? Do you really need to spend the extra money in our opinion? We don't think so. I mean, it's super nice and awesome to work on Thunderbolt 3 if you have the budget. But I mean, if you're just starting out with recording, a normal audio interface will do the trick for you. But do you want to get a maximum out of your studio and do you have the budget to spend on a Turnable 3 audio interface in combination with a Turnable 3 computer? It's super nice. Just like a Quantum 2626 by PreSonus or a Universal Audio Interface, it just works super fast. And the Quantum by PreSonus is tested as one of the fastest audio interfaces available right now. Dogs, dogs and more dogs. In my opinion it really blew up when Mac launched our USB-C only laptops and then you didn't have normal USB-A ports anymore. But for me it comes quite in handy now because it forced me to use a dog and now everything just connects via this single dog. We route everything via single cable to the dog and from, from this USB dog everything goes to my laptop. So everything connects just via a single cable which makes sure the desk is super clean. So we connect the screen, the keyboard, charging of the laptop, the audio interface, SD cards and everything with a single unit. So which dock is the right one for you? See here two options, discover for yourself which dock has your preference and which one has all the connections you need in your studio. So the cable. I know Universal Audio and PreSonus don't supply you with a Thunderbolt 3 cable once you purchase an audio interface. That can be quite a bummer when you got it on your first day, you just want to use it. But on the other side, I get it partly because it would increase the price of the product a lot. Most dogs come with a short Thunderbolt 3 cable though, so have that in mind, check if that's long enough for you and otherwise upon ordering a turn Thunderbolt 3 audio interface. Also make sure you order a Thunderbolt 3 cable that's around 2 meters or something and it costs around 60, 70 dollars depending on where you live. So we tested it while we're recording music. I give the word to you Dean. Where would you rather go when there's a problem at hand? Straight for your goal or listen to the public to your lead? Would you rather bleed clean air or be buried with your head up in the sand? Figure this a story of becoming a man. Sad as life comes and goes, it does carry a smile. Is it really noticeable? 
Nah, not in our opinion. I mean, latency is always a challenge to get down as much as possible, but it really depends on what you need as a musician. If you need to record fast drums, latency is definitely not welcome. But if you're just recording one of your own demo demos and you're just starting out, don't worry about this. It really comes down to on how professional you use your studio. So do you really need it? Depends on your situation. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can make more videos like this. And remember, always keep making music.